All right, folks, this is Kent Ketter with Hot Takes, bringing you some red-white Eldrazi prison stuff. Um, now, we're just going to go with red-white Eldrazi. As you can see here by the openers, we've got uh, a nice little explosive one. Hopefully, it'll be good enough to carry us through. So, let's see what we can do. interesting so we're looking to win the size race let's just turn off the GT I think we can win without it we're gonna drop a uh, smasher next turn I believe unless our opponent has the turn two. thought not Okay, well, this might be closer than we want it to be. So I think we just run out the Thalia, which is not like great here. I do not believe we're well set up for this matchup game one. But next couple games, post sideboard, having access to more Flame Tongue Kavus and the like, I think we'll be in good shape. Yeah. The other Eldrazi deck having uh, slightly more explosive draw potential with Eye of Ugin is definitely something that I think this deck is lacking. But I think the trade-off to not have just a pretty abysmal like combo matchup is decent. I think we just double block here. No, we take one. I don't want to turn back on GTs. Okay, we might just be dead here. Ping. Attack. Block. Yep, that is game... We could go through a couple more turns here, but this hand just isn't really getting us a whole lot of anything. So, let's go to the sideboards and see if we can improve this. Swords, great. Kavus, great. Chalice, not great. So the other card that I want to cut, I think, are these Thalias. My issue is, is like, what do I want to bring in? Because nothing else really seems fantastic. So I think maybe we just leave in two Thalias. And just run this into our opponents. Hmm. I actually like the wear tears here. So my thought is all of these make our swords worse and they don't really interact with our opponent in favorable ways. This helps just confirm we shut off GTA. We're hoping to skip a spot on the curve, maybe run out of turn one Thalia. Seems fine. This is definitely not a matchup we want to see. I would imagine we were looking more for your Delver or mid range, or sorry, uh, your mana light decks, I would like to play first. I 
I think we go Thalia first here. Oh. Um. Whoops. I guess I... Well, that's a little embarrassing. It looks like I inadvertently had rebound one of my mouse keys to F6 and just passed over the old turn. Hmm. <laughs> we'll lead on the ancient tomb because we're supposed to. Uh, that's awful. If we had just run out the Thalia there, we were in fantastic shape. So now I think our opponent has to take the Thought Not Seer. Unless they want to trade back. This hand is where we want to be for this matchup, and that's kind of interesting to me. Looks like our opponent is wanting us to second tomb ourselves. Instead, we're going to. Yeah, we're actually going to try to cut down the number of activations of this. I think double do doing that twice is a really questionable idea. So let's run out this. This. I'm just trying to to not activate ancient tomb that many times in a game. Take some red here. I do want to run out the thought not seer to try to prevent either a second thought not seer or yeah, just whoo. That's a five eight. Well. So, if I take an endless one, I'm not exactly where I want to be, but I do have a double block then, and I just have to hope our opponent doesn't get to Sower Mana. It's going to be at least two turns for that. I'm going to draw a card as well. Yeah, we'll take an endless one. We're, we got to get a little lucky to win this game. I don't think we're going to uh, block on this next turn. I think we're going to eat that attack. Then probably Kavu this. It's very interesting sequences. I I think this looks... Decent. Whew. It's interesting, but that's not bad. So we have the wear tear, and they're aware of it. We could just block here. The thought is if I draw, I mean, then we're both going to draw cards, but I get first crack at mine. Maybe I was more afraid of I 
have been more afraid of the reality smash when I needed to be, and maybe I'm supposed to just run out the Kabu there. Blow up our opponent's creature, draw a card, get a little bit more information. Really just looking for sizable threats to place down prior to our opponent becoming too large to deal with. Those endless ones and oblivion sowers are going to be beatable but interesting, especially as we are both playing off the top of our deck. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so we might be in pretty big trouble here. Opponent's creatures being much longer is tough to deal with. Couple good ones out of us, didn't you? Hmm. I'm trying to think what. From here, I guess we just want to start trying to draw answers to threats and trade back and forth. We are very far behind here. Hmm. Well, definitely looks like the Eldrazi deck that's prepared for the mirror with, you know, larger Eldrazi and a propensity for, for more mana. Makes sense that they would win the creature on creature matchup. Doesn't help that I F6 through a turn. I imagine it's just an endless one for, you know, large number. Two lands from here. I do not believe I have, outside of just drawing multiple sewers, or uh, swords, excuse me. I don't think I have a good answer for this. 12, 2, 4, 6. Yeah, I think you play the 6 6 here. Attack for 5. Then again, they've got some decent pressure. <sighs> Not sure about the ratchet bomb, but if you want to go over the top, that's definitely a way to accomplish that pretty easily. Yep, we are dead. Uh, so one of the downsides of a deck like this, especially in Legacy, is without further like card selection or card advantage, I do not have a position that I can come back from this. Uh, I The best I could have done is drawn sword swords to swords them out and hope it was good enough and then beat our opponent's fireball Eldrazi creature after that, which is doable, I think. But this game specifically, we have been defeated in the mirror. Uh, not a inspiring start for our heroes, but that is quite all right. Uh, so... Ran into a little tough one uh, in the Eldrazi Mirror. Their Eye of Ugans, you know, just give them more soul lands and their creatures get bigger and faster. No big deal. Uh, we're definitely looking to interact with some other decks in the metagame opposed to a pseudo Eldrazi Mirror. So, thanks for checking me out for match one.
This was Kent Ketter with Team Card Hoarder bringing you some hot take action. I will be back for match two in just a moment. <laughs> 